Okay, we got Kira. TMZ. Eight. Mess of cycle two. Week one. Legs. Back. Biceps. There we go. I set it for the other camera. <laughs> now we're really going to warm these legs up a little bit. We're going to lift the knee on the next one. Next one. Now. Now. Lift the knee up. Warming up those hip flexors. And glutes. Leg side, with the squat. Seven and eight. 
Okay, I wish I didn't wrap it around my hands now. All right, we're warm at our back now. Okay, we're doing a horizontal row. We're gonna be doing that single arm. You can have your hands on a bench, hands on your couch, flat back. My back and neck are in alignment all the way down to my spine. Elbow comes out. Dumbbell comes into the armpit. All right, I'm grabbing 35. Okay. And my dumbbell was not set up for 35, obviously. All right, here we go. Okay. Now, I'll use my ball so I can stay here. Remember, wide stance with the legs. Flat back, neck in alignment. 12 breaths. 12. Five, pull the center down. Four, three, two, one, and switch. Make sure you're going all the way down on that extension. Twelve. a shorter rest because we're working one arm then the other. This one's resting while this one's working. Okay, we're going to be doing 10 reps. Remember, don't do a lot of this. Don't twist. Keep the neck in alignment. Try to look right straight ahead. Okay, so your neck doesn't ache you. Okay. 10 reps. 10. Full extension down. Ah, you that lower back a little stretch. Catch your breath. Okay. Ten. One. Oh! Ugh. Catch your breath, take your rest. Now, if you need to stretch out your lower back, round it. Do whatever you gotta do. All right, think about your back off weight. I'm grabbing 20s. Back off, we're doing double arm. Double arm for our back off, okay? So it's gonna be lighter. You'll be able to do double arm. Okay. Here we go. A rep. One side, then the other. Eight. Ah. Switch. Okay, 20s, double arm, okay, oh enjoy how good it feels, but we know we're going to feel it later. Oh, I had to stop. I had a tingling. 
going in my hand. Oh my goodness. Oh, it was like electricity. Woo. Write it down, total failure. Oh my gosh. I'm not kidding you. I'm already dreading. This is gonna feel so good when we're all done though. Okay, next one we're moving on, biceps. Twisting at the top bicep curls. All you're gonna do is, your palms are gonna be right here. Just a slight twist, end of the dumbbell to the shoulder. That little tweak, it's gonna make a difference, okay? All right, I'm grabbing 20s. Oh, Jennifer, do you have 20 right now? Yes. Okay. Two. I was hoping it wasn't 20. Oh. All right, there we go. 20 pounds. We got 12 reps. Two. Three. Four. Five. We kind of worked biceps a little bit. Six. On that last. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Slow it down. Eleven. Twelve. Oh. Twelve sucks. Oh. We got 30 seconds here. All right. I'll talk. So we kind of warmed up the biceps when we were doing that other. We're working all the pull muscles now. All the pull muscles. So we kind of worked it already and warmed it up while we did that horizontal row. Okay, so. Woo. And again, you go put in your weight. Don't go too fast. You don't want to burn it out before you finish. We're not doing the faster reps until the last set. Okay. We have about a minute, 30 seconds to a minute. Smaller muscles burn out faster. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. One more. Ten. First one out the gate is always hard for the muscle group. Oh, I need my stopwatch. I don't have it. <laughs> I don't have it. I don't ride a home. That's got no second hand on it. All right. Shake it out. Always stretch during, after, all the time. Anytime you're sore, just do things like this. Like even swinging your arm, just swinging it a little bit. I'm telling you, that helps when you're sore. Shake it up, shake it up. I have been there and done that. All right, eight reps. If anybody remembers Megan Capulri from Vi, or not from Vi, from Legacy when I worked there. Do you remember when she came into class wearing high heels because we worked calves? And she could not walk flat footed <laughs> for like a week. Oh my gosh, that poor thing, four. But it did go away. Five, she's never worked chaos before. Six. Seven, and she pushed so hard. Eight, it was so cute. Her coming in. 10 seconds, I'm dropping down to 12. It was so cute, her coming in, wearing her little high heels, because she's like, I cannot straighten out my foot on the floor. She had to go to work wearing high heels. All right, go. Four, you should be getting over 15 reps. Five, six, seven, we go a little faster because it's lighter. Eight, 10. I'm feeling it now. Oh. Oh. Uh. Oh my gosh. Okay, I 
I got one more. Oh my gosh. Oh, that pain. Oh, not a bad pain, but it's a, a pain in my, like the muscle is fatigued. Oh my gosh. Yes, now I'm shaking. I go to right, I'm shaking. Oh, all right, shake it out. So yes, you're gonna feel that shake. It's activating fast twitch muscles. Also, just, the shake is not bad, the shake is good. You just go through until you can't do any more with good form. When you're getting really sloppy, stop. All right, now I'm dreading this. Bucket squats, I've got 40. Um, I gotta put my weight on here. I had it adjusted for my back. So, here we go. Now, you can do heel raise if you want. If not, don't worry. I'm gonna do, because, because of um, these dumbbells are painful on my shoulders, I'm not gonna do a back squat. I'm gonna be doing a bucket squat. And that's okay. I'm still keeping my body upright while I squat. So heels raised is an option. I'm just gonna take these. So my heels go on them and I'm gonna be going straight down. My butt goes back, I'll show you some. Butt goes back and your back is straight. Right here. And then up. Okay? Shoulders back. One. Make sure you're looking where your neck's in alignment. Don't look up, it'll change your neck. Four, I'm gazing right in front of me. Shoulders back. Ten, push the butt back. Oh, one more. Oh. oh, now larger muscle groups, a little bit longer recovery. Oh, okay. I just saw little birdies there for a second. All right. I'm counting. I'm gonna have gorilla arms, Jennifer. Me too. Oh. Okay. We have 10, and you will get out of breath from working large muscle. All right. Shoulders back. focusing more on quadriceps. So, every time we're leaning down, leaning down, it angles your muscles differently than if we're angled up. So I change the angles all the time. And on this one, upright. We're staying upright. We're not leaning down. Has it been a minute, Jennifer? I don't have a clock. Yeah, you know, I could do a, I could do a timer for you. I just have to get off my clock. Oh, that's all right. No, it's okay. That's all okay. right. I could do that. Okay. Whoop! I think it's been there. All right, think about your back off set. Eight. So I'm going from 40 to 25. 
Okay? It's a little extra, but it's alright. Alright, here we go. Eight. you can enjoy the faster I'm gonna put them back because I can now these are comfortable seven helps me to stay upright Four, 
three, two, one. Oh. So you're imagining Jennifer is using a straight bar. The bar is coming right into her waist, right here, right here. Okay. Back up is going to be 12 pounds. What? What? No. No, 17 and a half. Sorry. Thirty seconds left, but did we? I thought we had thirty each for the exercises. No, no, we uh, maybe we did. I don't know. Let's go. <laughs> I'm all confused. Here we go. I just know that larger muscle groups need a little longer for recovery. Two, three, four. I hate not having a timer. Five, six, seven. Eight, okay, 30 and a half is 15, 16, 17 and a half. All right. There's 10 seconds in between our back off set. Here we go. As many as you can. Oh, enjoy the awesome form. Seems so easy. Four, straight down. Five. Squeeze those elbows. Oh, I love the way that feels. Time. Time. 
Okay, she says time. All right, 10 reps. And you guys might feel a little twanginess on your elbow, and that's okay. Sometimes it's just a tendon that's like flicking over the bone. Three, just adjust your elbow a little bit. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. What? Nine. Oh, I think I'm really pushing it with this 20. And 10. Yes. Okay. That's okay. I'm probably right at the cusp of stepping up, and I probably was 17 and a half last time. But now that I'm using heavier, it's okay. I'm finishing it to completion. I feel okay about it. I didn't like not complete the last three. So I'm gonna stick with it because I'm probably right about to go stepping to the next one. So, because I know normally I back off weight on these uh, in, these uh, preacher curls. All right, Jen's our timer. Time. Ding, she says. Think about your back off weight. I'm grabbing 12. Oh, get, oh my God, I can't get them up to, there we go. Eight. get the last one. That's all right. I'm going to write it down. That is a little bit. That is really probably by next time I'll probably clear it. But for now, I'm okay with that. I did it to failure. I knew it was going to get tough. That third set gets you. Okay. Oh. Enjoy this. I'm not so sure I'm enjoying it though. Ten. Keep going. Oh, it's kicking in now. Thirteen. Ah! Oh my gosh. I picked it up. One more. One more. Oh. Oh my gosh. My heartbeat is through the ball. I can hear it. Yikes. All right. Write your number down. Oh my gosh. I can't write. My hand's shaking. All right, little stretch right here. Okay, we have plies. Woo! Now, hold your dumbbells wherever you can comfortably. I don't know if it's gonna be one single dumbbell, two dumbbells, or two on here or two back here. Whatever you can, we're staying upright on this one. All right? You decide, I'm grabbing 40s. Oh, oh, oh. I'm not sure where I'm gonna put my dumbbells yet, because these are these big fat ones. Okay, here we go. One, two. Three, five, shoulders back, don't slouch. Six, seven, eight, ten. Oh, one more. Oh. oh. I'm 
That's it. Bicep for 
first. Six. Not for the first set. <laughs> Ten. Oh my gosh, no, I think that was 11. This is 12. All right, I got confused. All right, so yes, I totally fudged up. I thought they said single arm hammer curl. It's hammer row. Don't worry. We're gonna do this, the hammer rows. We're gonna do them after we finish the biceps. This was supposed to be incline. Jennifer found that really quick. So, second set. Elbow, back of the arms are against the ball. Curl it in, same way. You're gonna feel it different though, trust me. I don't even know if I wanna grab those 20s because I think this is where I grab 17 and a half. All right. We'll see. It's gonna be harder. Okay. Here we go. Ten. Butt is down. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Woo! Five. Four. Three. Yep. Two. One more. And one. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing I did for the other one. I probably won't get to eight, but that's okay. I finished the 10. I'm going to stick with it. If I fail at five, uh, six, seven, I'm okay. All right. Elizabeth probably caught it. Oh yes, yes. Okay, so she's noticing that plies are burning her lower back. Absolutely. You're working your back muscles. Like I said, all these muscles support each other. So back, legs, and a biceps, all supporting muscles of your pull. So you are gonna feel it in the lower back. Back off if you feel pain. Time. Time, oh crap. All right, so I'm gonna go. Whenever you're feeling pain, always back off. Good call, Elizabeth. Okay, here we go. Here we are, six, two more. Seven, oh, one more. Oh my gosh. Oh, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. I'm kind of slow, don't worry. 2, 1. Here we go. I have 12. Actually, you know what? We're going to do single arm. 
We go heavier, and then we'll back off and do double arms. How's that sound? Okay. Yes. I'll use my ball. All right, so I've got 30. Five. 35. I gotta take one of these off. Okay. I'm gonna use 35. Now remember, the hammer row. Pull that elbow. Full extension down. Your shoulders will tip. Tip, pull, tip, but don't swing up. Not this. Okay? like this, whatever you prefer. Like 
again. So pulling them both at the same time is harder.
Push off in the front heel. Four. The arms down the nose, they hang straight down. tomorrow for a few days. Oh. Oh my gosh. My hamstring already feels like it's got a meatball. Five, four, three, two. Love it. Thanks, girl. Again, look at your foot. Push it in front of you. Arms just hang down. Oh, here we go. 
Here we go. I know you're shaking. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh. Who's gonna give me CPR? My husband's outside. Oh. 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 I'm walking. I really can't do very much right now. Oh. You want to keep keep trying to get the flexibility in there. Hang out of the toes. Push away. Let the lower back tension out. Oh, now I know drinking lots of water is also, everybody knows, put do mermaid, one foot behind bent, one foot front bent. We're going to fold over. Hold it here. This is also great for the lower back and the hamstrings, glutes. Ah, right here. Just do a little side stretch right here. Ah, switch it. Now these stretches are important. A lot of times, too, soreness can come from not stretching enough before and after the workout. Stretching definitely helps with the recovery. Recovery is so important. That's why I like to do the bar class after our Tuesday. Because again, I mean, that's like a recovery workout. All that extra stretching, flexibility, not using heavy weights. That's all good for recovery, all right, face forward. Okay, right here, let's go into our natural squat just to get those hamstrings, or not hamstrings, calves, the quadriceps, the knees. Uh, again, wherever you can, start off, like Jennifer was saying, she never used to be able to do a squat with both feet on the ground. Now she can. She's gaining flexibility uh, from continuously just doing it. So that's what you gotta do, just keep doing it. And, and every time you'll just get a little better, a little better. Okay, hands to the ground, roll it up, straighten the knees out, hang it down here.
Ah, let it, let it thaw out, let it thaw out. All right, widen the stance, toes are out. We're gonna hang the arms down. Direct, let the elbows go down as far as they can. Straighten out, lock out the legs, hang straight down, elbows hang to the ground. I have my arms folded. Let it thaw out. Okay. Turn to one, one foot. Runner's lunge right here. Push the hips down. Four, five, six, seven, eight. We're holding it for 10. Now release the knee and the toe and push the hips forward. Tip that toe out to the back and push the hips forward. Other, other hand is on the ground. Reach it up right here. And tuck it behind your back if you can. Pull the elbow back. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Return it. We're going to do the same thing with the other side. Switch sides. Runner's lunge on this side now. Push those hips down. Release, relax. Don't ever tense up. Relax during the stretch. All right, release the knee and the toe. Push those hips forward. Other hand is on the ground. Okay, now tip out the toe to the back. Tip the toe on the front to the back. And reach up, hold it here. And then tuck that arm behind and hold it for 10. 10, push the hips forward. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Return it. Engage that back toe. Step it back up. We're going to do a little triangle pose right here. One foot straight, locked out. The one behind, straight, locked out. And hands to the ground. Put the chest to the leg. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, let's switch that triangle pose over here. Both legs are locked out. Chest comes down. Eight, nine, ten. Back to center. Big bend the knees, roll it up. Woo, circle those shoulders. Okay, biceps, just grab on. Push your elbow up. And then switch it. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Take your hands, put them in the very back of your lower, lower back. Squeeze the elbows together. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now clasp them, round the back, open up the shoulder blades, tuck the chin, tuck the hips. Pull your core in tight. Push away from your hands. Ah, guess what? That's a wrap. And I am drenched. I can't, I am so glad to be over with this. Oh my gosh. So I think I got the hardest workout out the gate. And it was today. Literally. I don't know what I did thinking, going gangbusters on the first one. Oh well. We're shaking it up, guys. You reach out to me. If you have any issues at all, reach out to me. I want to help you, okay? So, peace to you guys. Have a beautiful weekend. Thank you so much. And I will see you.